Now we shall see some very important aspects that we are overlooking during Ramzan. Some very important aspects which are documented in our hadith, which we have to understand. Yes, important aspects about fasting, about Rosa, from the famous book Fazail A Mal. Fazail A Mal. The Quran commands Fasting has been prescribed for you. The commentators of the Quran say that for this verse, it is reduced that for fasting is made compulsory for every portion of the body. Fasting is made compulsory for every portion of the body. The fasting of the tongue means abstaining from telling lies, etc. Fasting of the ears means not listening to evil. Fasting of the eyes means not to look at any form of evil and sin. Similarly, fasting of the self means to be free from greed and all carnal desires. Fasting of the heart means casting away from it the love for worldly things. Fasting of the ruh, spirit, means to abstain in this world from the pleasures of the agya. Fasting of the mind means avoiding thoughts about the presence of any other being besides Allah. Fasting of the mind means uh, avoiding thoughts about the presence of any other being besides Allah. Imam Ghazali Are asked the same question. When the object of fasting is to conquer the dictates of the Iblis and our carnal passions, then how can this possibly be done by eating excessively at iftar and thus defeating the objects? Actually, in that case we have only altered the time of eating and have not decreased our food intake. Moreover, by having so many various types of delicious delicacies which we do not have out of Ramzan and many people also have the habit of keeping special food items for Ramzan. Therefore, after fasting the full day, we consume even more than we do in normal times. Therefore, after fasting the full day, we consume even more than we do in normal times. The result is that instead of lessening the carnal desires, these are considerably increased. The real benefit of fasting comes as a result of actual hunger in the true spirit. Fasting has various worldly objectives and benefits as the observance of Sah, Sahari injunction, which is the ultimate aim. Our Nabi said, Shaitan flows through the body of man like blood. So close up that path by remaining hungry. All the limbs are spiritually nourished when the body is starved. And when the body is tough, 
then all the limbs are spiritually starved. Another object is that fasting gives us the chance of appreciating the plight of the poor and destitute and thus endanger and thus engender sympathetic feelings towards them. Do not eat excessively at Sahari as the prosperous ones do, for this is the way to lose the object of fasting. Another important thing during fasting is guarding the tongue against telling lies, unnecessary conversation, backbiting, arguments, swearing, etc. In Bukhari we read that fasting is a deterrent for the fasting person. For this reason, those who fast should avoid all nonsensical talk, joking, arguments, etc. Should anyone pick up an argument and say, I am fasting. For the exceptionally pious ones, now another very important point is added, that is, during fasting, the heart should not be turned towards anyone except Allah. So much that during the course of the fast, it is a defect to worry whether there shall be something to eat for iftar. Some sheikhs even consider it to fall to think about food for iftar or that one should endeavor to acquire something because this shows lack of confidence in Allah's promises, promises of such a 